guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys how to wirelessly tether your 4G internet from your phone to your computer or laptop using the wireless tether application. Uh, so it's super simple, super easy. If you have a Galaxy Nexus that is unlocked and rooted, you can use this application for wireless tether. It's the same one that you've used on other devices. Uh, first, you want to go on your phone to the link in the description which will bring us to let's see droidmonerx.com slash galaxy nexus so we'll go there and over in the side menu Under walkthroughs, we'll go to how to free wireless tether. That's where the link in the description will take you. And then on this page, you'll see the download link right there. So download the APK there. And that's going to take you to the That's going to take you to the Android Wi-Fi tether page. And you just want to download uh, the very first APK right there. So that one is the one that you want to get. So go ahead and download that. Uh, once it's finished downloading, you give the option to install. You'll install that. And all you have to do is really super easy. You'll have this Wi-Fi tether application here. Once installed, just press to start tethering. And now that we're done, let's see here. Go to connect to network, and you should see in the list... You should see this Android Tether Unsecured Network. You can also add, if you go into settings here, right there, first we'll connect just to show you that it works. We're connecting to Android Tether. Successfully connected to Android Tether. So, now that we're connected, we'll just open up Google and you see that we're connected. Super fast, super easy. Let's see, we're, out, we're on 4G, we could do like a DSL speed test or speedtest.net how about so we'll go there real quick and just test the speed out see what we get begin the test and Download speeds of 11.72 megabytes. That's not bad off of a phone's connection. Uh, normally I get about 5 megs of upload. I don't know why it's so slow right now. 1.7 megabytes per second on the upload. Pretty fast. So that's what 4G Wi-Fi Tether will get you. Um, so really guys, it's as easy as that. And let's see, I, I was going to show you real quick the settings. I almost forgot. So if you go to the settings here... Uh, and then the settings, let's see here, should be able to enable a password. So yeah, you can go to enable Wi-Fi encryption and change the password. Let's see, change the passphrase here and you can change it to whatever is easy for you to remember. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, hit OK. And so now we'll have to put in our password to connect. Let's see, we'll disconnect from my home network and we will connect to Android Tether. For some reason, it's not wanting to cooperate normally, and maybe it would help if we did like a computer reboot. But with that passphrase enabled, you should be able to put in your password, and that way only you can access it. Guys, thanks for watching. Check out DroidMotorX.com for all the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android device. You can follow me on Twitter at DroidMotorX with an E, not a 3. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel. 
thumbs up if you like the video. Also, be sure to leave comments below. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.